Hey everybody, Matt Ball here. Today I wanted to just kind of walk you through my Torquedo setup on my Jackson Bite FD. It's the boat that I use. Uh, I used this past weekend on the Susquehanna River. It's a great river boat. Um, and I've, I used it last year, but I didn't have my Torquedo on it. Um, and what that kind of stunk about that is uh, you can, I can use that Torquedo during the pre-fishing times. So it would have been nice to have that Torquedo while I was breaking down water. Well, so this year I went ahead and I had that, I mounted that Torquedo on this boat and surprisingly it was very simple to mount on this boat. So I want to show you how I did that. Uh, so let's just kind of walk around the boat and I'll show you kind of how I got the Torquedo mounted on this Jackson Bite FD. So here it is and uh, I've got the Got the 403 on the back here. And what they changed in 21 on the Jackson Bite is they put these inserts in the back in the boat to where you could mount a plate and mount a Torquedo, which makes it super simple to do. Now, they do sell, a, we do sell a, bra a bracket through Torquedo that, uh, or not through Torquedo, but through Jackson on the Jackson site where you can get this bracket to mount the, the, the motor. I didn't have one at the time, so I just, I just kind of cut one out of, uh, some starboard or it's actually a cutting board from Walmart and uh, just made a bracket that I could mount the Torquedo to works really well. And then here's what's kind of slick about the Bite FD. The, the fiberglass rods that run the steering in this boat are covered with this black plastic cover that runs all the way up to the front of the boat to where the handle is right here. So what I did, I just ran my tubing through some, I ran this tubing all the way back, got it attached right here on the bottom of the, with just a, with, with, the, with a little clamp. And then I ran that tubing all the way through this upper rib, which is out of the way. It doesn't affect the, the steering at all. I just kept that tubing running all the way back through here, all the way out to the front. And then I came out to the front to my steering pegs and uh, the way I did the steering this is something that, uh, that Jeff Little I've watched him a friend of mine has been doing with a lot of his boats and these Yak Attack 90 degree brackets work great for mounting some foot pegs without having to drill I can take these off if I'm not using the Torquedo but I just take this I'm going to show you on the other side this is the sliding foot peg track that you can get from Jackson now with the, if you have any of the boats that Jackson sells that have uh, a rudder system, you can get this track mounted on your boat and then you take your existing foot peg rail and it slides inside that. Now with the pedal system here, normally in these right here, you would have your standard foot pegs that come on your Jackson boats. They're too big, they get in the way of your pedals. So you don't, you're not able to get your pedal to rotate without hitting them. So I take those off and I just fashion my own bracket or uh, I just take a bolt and it's, I can maybe do a video on this. It's a little more difficult to explain, but very simple to just put a bolt through that. And just, you just need something for your foot to catch on that lets you steer this boat. And these have worked great for me for about three years now, uh, using them on my Jackson boats that have the pedal drive because there's just not quite enough room between the edge of the pedal and the standard foot peg. They get in the way. So all you really need is something to catch the outside edge of your foot on to steer this boat. And these have worked great. Now you don't want to use them barefooted, but uh, with river shoes, it works great. So, so I just run that up and this is at, uh, I think it's Kevlar, maybe not sure what brand, but this is, uh, this is some uh, cord that I got from Trey Leach from Innovative Sportsman. And, uh, it's that flexible, easy. I mean, it's so much better than using the, the steel line. You can tie it on. Uh, it, it just works great. It doesn't have any stretch. Uh, if you want to get some of that, get a hold of Trey. Uh, he's, he can sell you some of that. I've got some that I keep on hand all the time. Uh, it works great. A lot of the boats use it for their rudder systems. So it's really simple. So while I'm, while I'm talking about this boat, so that, that's the Torquedo system. I've got my throttle mounted right here beside the seat so it's right where I need it and out of the way and then I keep my battery right here in the back it's just a really slick little system so 
Uh, that's how I've got the Torquedo mounted. Now I do want to talk about some of the other stuff that I've got on this boat that makes this such a great little river boat. Now I'm not a big fan of having rods sticking up in these back rod holders, uh, especially on the river. But I do that. I do have them sticking up when I'm on lakes, but a lot of times I'd rather have them down low. So what I did, I use these Yak Attack paddle holders, and I've got them mounted in that same plastic track that uh, that comes on this Bite FD. And I just, I can lock a rod right down beside me, and then it's got these, this bungee that'll strap it down, and you're not going to lose that rod over the side if you'd happen to flip your boat or, or whatever. So... It's just a Yak Attack paddle holder, but it'll work great for a rod holder right there. And then also, I added a piece of the uh, the track, the Yak Attack track up here, and I've got a rod holder mounted right here. Now, what I use that one for, um, if I want to take four rods, I can put one here, one here, and one and two on each other side. I've also got the same setup on this side with the, the paddle holder. It works really well, okay? And, or I can mount one right here. And what a lot of times I'll do, if I'm, I catch a fish, this is just real easy to throw my rod in, keep it out of the floor while I'm measuring a fish. It works real well. And then if you're getting ready to go in some rapids and say you have four rods with you, you can put one in each of these, strap one down in each of these, and you've got four rods secured that aren't, it isn't gonna go anywhere if you would happen to, to flip the boat. Uh, that's uh, that's what I got there. Uh, a couple other things that I've got on this boat that really help me in the river. This is the uh, the anchor wizard. Works really well. It's out, off, mounted off to the side, out of the way of my foot pegs. I run that through through the front here, and then I uh, I just use a I just use a dumbbell. This is a five pound uh, five pound dumbbell, and if I lose that. If it gets stuck, and it will on the front, on the river, I can just cut it loose. Um, and that's easy to do with this uh, NRS knife that I've always got handy right here on my life jacket. And I have had to do that. You want to always have, on a river, if you're using an anchor, you want to have a knife ready in case your anchor rope gets, gets hung, because it will. But uh, anchoring off the front is a little safer. That way your nose is in the current if it gets stuck, and you can kind of paddle forward and try to get it free. So I don't recommend... Uh, you know, anchoring off the back of your boat as much as I do the front in some current. And you, and even then you gotta be smart about it. Not a lot of current, but just to keep you in place. So that's uh, that's kind of what I've got there. Uh, the other thing that I've got on this boat is the new Yak Attack double header. And that's it right there. And that is that makes a great way to have your paddle staged, ready to go, because on a river, you gotta have a good paddle because you're gonna be able to maneuver in that current so much better and that bending branches is uh, is always beside me there ready to go because you do a lot of paddling when you're in the river and that's a great paddle to have so it's a, it's a neat little product and i'll be able to uh, uh put the yak attack rod holder right in the center of it so i've got three things mounted in one little spot here so it's a great great little new product that yak attack's got out Couple other things that I add to my boats. Uh, this is uh, this is the T rain that you get through Yak Attack. That's where I keep my uh, pliers on, so it's they're there and handy. And then I've got this. Uh, this is where I raise and lower my motor. I've got that just right there on a just a. Those are Yak Attack tie down straps, and I replaced the knob for that t-rain with that and it makes a nice place to to just hook something and then i always add the yak attack cup holders on my seat track so that i have a place to put all the the stuff that i'm throwing off and keep it nice and handy so see so yeah, i think that's it so that is my river setup oh let me show you another thing back here in the uh, bike they have uh, bungees that are woven all the way through here. I take that off and I use these Yak Attack eyes, tie down eyes, and I put them through there and then I can snap stuff to this. I can just tie equipment to it or anything, anything that I want back here and I don't have that bungee. But what I do to keep my, 
crate secured, I just loop one of these uh, bungee cords with the ball. That's how I attach my uh, that's how I attach my uh, rod or my crate. So I've had this boat uh, that's set up set up on all my boats, and there's just it works well. It's quick. Uh, and then I've for a river boat, I keep everything that I need pretty much in this PFD, and that's kind of kind of my main main tackle storage is is in this uh, this front pocket. That's just just full of the things that that I use. It just keeps you from having to carry as much gear. There's not a lot of stuff in this crate, uh, but it's but I do have a few uh, you know tackle items in there, but. I like to keep this boat as lightweight as possible, which if anybody's fished with me, they know that that's really hard for me to do because I like to take everything. So, but there she is. That is my Jackson Bite FD with a Torquedo mounted. Uh, you know, I just wanted to show everybody how, how it does. This is a great little boat for moving water. So check it out and uh, we'll talk to you later. God bless.